Hello Masoka Universe. The second final of the day is over. The second one that I watched today. So Fcon not, but you know. So the women's world cup final where I paid full attention. To this final I had a little bit of a harder time paying full attention. A because I really want to get the video for the women's world cup final ready and also a little bit preparation because I'm doing this video now really really late and I want to post um, during night so not that I have to spend so much time tomorrow again because unfortunately the internet speed that I have here at home is still a little bit a little bit slow anyway I followed the game let's put it that way and I was very well aware that um, at least in the first 15 minutes Peru tried to put Brazil on the back foot very confident start really uh, pressed Brazil was uh, annoying um, not having big chances but definitely being the more active team however if Brazil is one thing at this Copa America it is super 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 efficient uh, long ball from Dani Alves to Gabriel Jesus who eats uh, the Peruvian defender alive with a nice move makes a cross in and Everton is entirely free on the left side and can put it safely into the net 1-0 for Brazil and I am a Peruvian fan and I think most Peruvian fans must have felt really hard done by because at this point this was literally the first Brazilian attack on goal and it is ends in the net uh, totally gutting yeah, uh, Peru was shaken. Uh, yes, they tried to play a little bit forward and you know uh, keep up the game, but uh, it was then Brazil who had more possession and also had a few chances, namely through Firmino, uh, who uh, pulled it wide. Um, you know, Brazil had control, even had then, uh, suddenly more possession overall, as you would the world expect. However, uh, Peru got a shot in the arm with a really harsh penalty, uh, I have to say. I mean, Thiago Silva is falling down. He tries to cushion his fall with the hand and exactly there the ball hits. The referee saw it from Chile, who I actually think was a pretty good referee. Um, uh, twice he had to go to VAR, twice he kept his decision, which I think uh, is fine to me. And he was uh, maybe a little bit harsh at times, but I, think, I thought he had overall good control over the game. Um, gotta give it to him that he's from Chile. Well, Peru and Chile are not big friends, but I think it is in play. He seemed to be a very level-headed one. Anyway, this penalty was harsh, I gotta say. Um, but under the new rules it is all covered and we have seen even harsher penalties especially in world cup finals through argentinian referees that's something with south america and weird handballs um and yeah it is upheld on var and guerrero steps up and puts it into the net one one hopefully at halftime it's actually i thought it was uh deserved one one and i was quite happy for that, however, Zambrano in stoppage time loses the ball, um, get the ball gets to um, Arthur, takes, who dribbles a little bit and puts it left to Gabriel Jesus, who clinically puts it into the net in the third minute of stoppage time. Again, when Brazil needs to be clinically, they are super clinically, and this 2 1 more or less sealed the deal for Brazil. In the second half, um, it was Brazil at first who again had more of the game, was seemed to be the better team. Uh, Peru on the back foot. Unfortunately, uh, it took another harsh decision. Uh, Gabriel Jesus uh, got on his fifth foul, was a little bit of an overmotivated tackle, gets a second yellow card, is sent off. So Peru is. Um, uh, with one man up on the field and that's when they really got a little bit more energy and try to go for the equalizer so without have really having a chance i think there was one uh good uh shot uh i think it was youtube but i'm not i'm not uh 100 on that um who got close other than that yeah brazil just 
needed to do, just what Brazil needs to do. Um, keep the ball safe, um, defend uh, in, in a strike structure way, don't do anything stupid. Uh, something stupid was then done uh, by the Peruvian defense when a ball um, goes into a box where uh, Everton is running for it. The goalkeeper Gallese has it, but Everton is checked by the defender. Not like that. I mean, the ball was, uh, the hand was uh, here, but I thought it was a stupid check. The referee didn't hesitate, pulled it on the spot. It was again, as I said, to VAR. He kept up, up and uh, Richard Lee in the 90th. Converse the penalty, and it's 3 1 Brazil. Peru, despite a lot of stoppage time, has no chance of converting it. Brazil wins its ninth Copa America. The first one thing since 2007, so um, it has been a while, to be honest. Uh, I think it's the first title since 2007. Nah, 2009 and 2013 they won the Confederations Cup, so forget about it. But, you know, if you don't count the Confederations Cup, this was the first real title for Brazil in a long time. Uh, and it's only the ninth. Per, um, we're Uruguay still with 16, Argentina with... 15 or 15 and 14 sounds something like that. They are uh, the leaders in that category, mainly due to the fact that at the early stages when the Copa America was played a lot more often, those teams were winning more often. But still, I find nine titles for Brazil a rather disappointing haul. Um, I find Brazil overall also a little bit of a disappointing champion. Yes, they were probably the most solid team, but uh, they were never really convincing. Um, but hey, if it wins you a trophy, more power to you, and you have a great goalkeeper with Alisson. I think he he didn't concede a goal out of open play. That's a feat that uh, that you gotta achieve against Brazil. Um, uh, in for Brazil, solid defense, although a little bit on the aging side, with uh, Thiago Silva and Dani Alves surely about to step down, but you know, going forward, Firmino, not that bad, Gabriel Jesus, not that bad, uh, it's nothing really exciting, I mean, Coutinho could get on good form, but it's nothing really exciting per se, but it is working, and if it's working, then so be it, and yeah. Brazil, I don't want to say necessarily deserve champions, I think, uh, but if I look at the way the tournament went, um, they were the most consistent team. And clinically in front of goal, and that will always win you something. And you could see today, I mean, if you saw the move uh, ahead of the cross to the 1 0 by uh, Gabriel Jesus, there was some Brazilian flair there. There was also, I think, the second goal was taken in typical Brazilian fashion. So, yeah, on home soil, Brazil wins the Copa America. Um, yes, Messi is contesting that big time. Uh, he even boycotted the ceremony for the bronze medal yesterday. There were no pockets today. I mean, Gabriel Jesus, who was sent off, of course, came back for the celebrations. I'm happy that Peru finished second. They have now a third, two third spots uh, since 2011 and I think a quarterfinal and now a final. That's pretty good and they've qualified for the World Cup so uh, things look bright for Peru. It might be that this generation is now also a little bit at the end of its mid Guerrero going out but I would love to see Peru become more of a force. Anyway, that was it for me for now for the Copa America. Again, I might do a, a quick review vi video with uh, a little bit more, but you know, I didn't see overall that much except for highlights. Um, I thought that the best teams at this Copa America were Uruguay and Colombia, but they both went out in the quarters. And so we have Brazil winning. What a surprise. Let me know your thoughts on the final of the Copa America in general. Drop a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.